Hey guys, this is Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and we have the Galaxy Grand with us today loaded with the newest Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And we're just here to see what's new uh, in it for Galaxy Grand. At first, you will see that it's basically the, the new interface that we've seen with the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Mega. So it's very familiar uh, and very, very close to uh, the already existing TouchWiz interface that the Galaxy Grand had. You will notice a transparent notification panel You'd also see the new uh, weather widget, uh, again, as in the S4 and in the Galaxy Mega that we've seen. Now the notification panel, uh, the notification tray has been, has been you know, uplifted basically, and uh, you have more options, more toggles to play around with. Now a two finger swipe would directly open the entire notification tray and you can customize it. So basically you can prioritize your toggles and you know basically position them in the way you want just so that it's easier for you to use the entire phone now you will see that you have these four new categories uh in the settings panel so you know making it slightly easier and more intuitive for you uh, to look for stuff with android 4.2.2 uh you've got blocking mode and driving mode under blocking mode you basically alienate yourself from any incoming calls whatsoever for a specified duration of time and you can still have some exception uh, contacts in driving mode you basically have a voice picking out a lot of things for you now you've also got safety assistance so in case you run into a problem uh, you know it takes a picture from the front and the rear camera and sends your gps coordinates to a particular phone number you've also got smart stay now so you know the famous smart stay that's been there with the galaxy note 2 and the galaxy s4 and even in mega 6.3 um, you know, it never switches off. Uh, it never dims the display uh, if you're looking at it. What's interesting and quite disappointing actually is that they've not changed a thing about the camera. The camera interface is pretty much the same. Uh, it's got the same settings, uh, you know, the same old boring uh, color effects or filter effects, unlike the Galaxy S4, which has some really nice, uh, f you know, cool Instagram-ish effects. You've got the same shooting modes, um, you know, there's no change in the camera interface. Anyway, moving on, you've got a bunch of preloaded applications that now come with the Galaxy Grand. Uh, the group play is the same. It's not the, it's not the new one. Uh, and then you've got, you know, revamp Samsung apps, Samsung link, and a video player, which is again, uh, you know, the newest, uh, software, uh, of video playing, uh, in the Galaxy S4. The ability to add uh, widgets to your lock screen is I think the most uh, important feature that came with Android 4.2.2 and you know it really makes your life simple so you just have to swipe left and right and you can you have these numerous widgets that you can add and access without unlocking your phone at all and I think it's really handy you know so you can just like uh, keep switching over the, to different widgets you can have shortcuts to various apps so you don't even have to worry about unlocking your screen it really makes uh, using the phone quick now apart from that you can also go into my device and lock screen to enable multiple widgets at first uh, it's not activated by default and you can also place shortcuts on your lock screen for quicker uh, access to various things for example, Google search camera or phone, uh, your, your, your dialer app. Now this version of Android also gives uh, you the option to enable daydream. So if you go under display settings, you'd see daydream, which is sort of a screensaver of all your uh, images stored in an album. I don't really use it. Anyway, so that's it about the Galaxy Grand and Android 4.2.2 running on it. Uh, if you want to know how I installed the latest version, there's a video right for that. Uh, thank you a lot for watching guys and I really hope this was helpful and you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to subscribe.